Okay, so for today's main dish, we're gonna make barbecue pulled chicken tacos. And this is one of my favorite recipes because it's something that you can make for what we're doing tonight, which is a Mexican fiesta, or you can make it during the week. It's very quick, it's very easy, and it's actually pretty healthy. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is take your coconut oil and we're just going to put it in the pan like that and we're just going to let that melt. Okay, so while this sits for about 20 to 30 minutes, let's go see what Lauren's doing. Hey, Lauren! Oh, hey. What are you doing out here? Oh, just making some arrangements for the table. Nice! What do you have? I have two arrangements made today that we're going to use for a Mexican themed table. Nice! And I'm going to show you guys how to make a third one. So for the arrangement today, I wanted to do some really fun colors to go with my boho chic tablecloth right over there. And I decided to do reds, purples, pinks, and I think it's really fun. So I have some dogwood, I have some red peonies, I have Veronica, purple phlox, a stilby, piano roses, and two different colors. So let's see how this goes together. So when Becca told me that she wanted to cook tacos, I was so excited. I wanted really fun colors and I wanted to do the table beautifully. We knew we were having six people. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I actually found some really fun maracas. And I always think it's exciting to put a little something on every guest plate that they can take home with them. And today we did maracas. I also found this tablecloth. It's actually a beach cover, but you can pretty much use anything to throw on your table. And I love the colors in here which is where I got the idea for my flowers. And the third thing that I bought, come with me. For $6 off Amazon, I got these really fun, excuse the wind, really fun things to hang from the trees just to give it a little bit of ambiance. So to go on top of our pulled barbecue chicken tacos, we're going to make a honey Dijon slaw. So we're just gonna mix all of this together in a bowl.
Okay guys, so once your pulled chicken is done and your honey Dijon coleslaw is done, you're going to take a, I used uh, flour tortillas today, and um, you're just gonna take the pulled chicken, you're gonna put it on there just like that. You're gonna take some coleslaw, put it on there just like that. And then you're gonna take one or two avocados. If you don't like avocados, don't worry. You don't need it to complete this recipe, but I love avocados. And you're gonna put it on there just like that. And then you're just gonna fold it and put it on your little serving tray here, okay? So that it gets ready to go outside or to the table, you know, wherever you have everything set up. And you're gonna take your little cilantro sour cream and you're just gonna put a little bit on each. You can always add more later. Just like that. And then we're ready to bring this stuff outside. Thanks for joining us on Two Forks and Flowers.